Good afternoon, and we're, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Today, we are doing something new. Jim is going to be hooking Lady up with Bill for the first time since she had Bree. And uh, Bree Come here. is in here. She's in with where Duke and Earl used to stay. And we're going to see how this all goes. Well, I'll show you some more Brie later. Right now, Lady's just getting watered up. She's going to get harnessed up, hooked to Bill. And they're just going to do some light work. Lady, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, yesterday I clipped Lady's mane. A few days ago, I put Lady's front shoes on her. And we're just gonna go and see how it goes to separate these two for the first time. I've got a few changes to do with my harnesses and collars. I have a different collar for her. Her collar is on Bill right now. And so I have another 26 inch collar that fits her just fine. And I'm actually gonna be using Ken's harness on her. But I'm sure I'll have to do a little bit of adjusting on the Hames. The reason I'm using Ken's is because there is a spot on her his on the hames of this harness that's getting a little bit ripe. As you see right here, it's getting very ripe. It's been this way for a while, and I've actually had a, a, a second hame strap on this harness with, with Ken, just to make sure if it does break, it's not going anywhere. But I gotta get this a, a good fix on this at some point. But for what little she'll be doing in the next little while, It'll work better for her than it will be for Ken. Lady, how does it feel to have your work clothes back on? So I'll be a few minutes. I've got to drop this down one hole to bring this up where it needs to be. While Jim makes his adjustments, let's go see Bree and see how she's doing. I was in here brushing earlier and she loved it. But look at this girl. She's changing. The darker colors coming through. You can see it by her eyes. And on her back, her baby hair is wearing off. She's probably gonna be a fair amount darker, but Time will tell. Her ears are getting some dark patches coming through and right here. And I'm not surprised because her mom and her dad are darker than this. Let's do some brushing. easier to brush than your mama mm -hmm. and your dad. Mm -hmm. 
she is allowed to go in to get out away from the the sun and the bugs in in the little pen here at either end of the barn. So when she lays down sometimes, she picks up some things, but she's pretty easy to clean. You're doing good, Bree. We'll see how you do when Mama goes away. Okay, so what I did, I went down. I like these hames because there's actually five different adjustments at the top. The older type hames just have three, but these newer pulling pulling hames have five, which is really nice. Um, but I very seldom want to use the top one or the bottom one because it's very difficult to get the draft the way I like it if you're dealing those those spots. Um, as you can see, what's going to happen right here with this, it's, uh, it's going to fit all right, but this part of the hame is really a little bit higher than I like it to be. The hames fit the collar fairly decent. And for what work she's going to be doing, it's going to work just fine. But the draft is not where I like it. But there again, I have all these adjustments here so I can actually lower this draft down where it would be better for pulling. But for doing farm work, it is just perfectly fine just the way it is. So we can live with that. This is that second strap that I have that I'm going to have on her just in case something was to break there. So the hames are all set. We're good as far as everything goes on the collar and the hames. Um, this is, like I said, uh, Ken's old harness, what harness he's been using. And I might have to do some adjusting because she is a lot smaller than Ken. And uh, yeah, <laughs> too long, too big. So we'll have to do some adjusting Huga, on a few different spots. And so we'll get that done and then we'll be ready to hitch her up with Bill. Okay, so we get the harness all adjusted. So now we're ready to go out for a little spin. See how she reacts and see how Bree reacts. I've been using this bridle on can also. Lots of adjusting. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Guess I better get my lines straightened out on the right side. Brilliant. Get her. Get her, get her, get her. Usually, get her, baby. Get her, get her. Oh. Usually I'll have Lady on the other side. So Bill is usually on the right-hand side and Lady's on the left-hand side. But uh, I've been working Bill on the left lately and I don't want to change his lines around. And I wanted her to stand right next to Bree. So I decided I'm just gonna put her this side. She's worked this side plenty. Um, so she'll be fine. So I'll get, uh, I'll get uh, Bill and we'll hitch him up. I think Bill's gonna be so happy, but we'll see how Lady likes the situation. Lady, get out. Get out. 
Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Bill, you ought to be happy. You've been wanting to hang out with Lady for some time now. Okay, so I will hitch onto that cart and then go out and hitch on the wagon. So kind of watch me, but also watch Bree. Okay. This should be quite interesting because as most of you realize, this is Lady's first fall she's ever had. And she's kind of an old mare to have her, this being her first fall. And so she's so much used to working, but now with the fall, who knows how it's gonna, how she's gonna react. So we'll find out. I cast up. Taylor. Yep, bye. Tap you. Bye. Bye. Ha. Bye. Hip, gee. Ho. Hip. Come up here. Come up here, Bill. Ho. Oh. Bill and Baron were mowing pastures this morning. That's why he's a little bit sweaty and got a bunch of blood sp spots on her because the horse flies have just been brutal this year. So that's what that's from. Oh. So there's a lot of different ways, not a lot, but there's a few different ways to deal with a, with a foal and a mare. Some people will actually hitch, let the horse, the, the foal, go along with them. And that teaches them to, to actually learn the commands a little bit. I, um, I personally do not like to do that. Just my preference, I don't. Um, I prefer to have the foal learn to stand out in the barn while I'm taking the mother away and have the mare learn to go about her work without having to worry about the foal. Um, just my preference. Like I said, a lot of people do it different ways and whatever works for them is great. Tough stuff.
go back and see how Bree's doing. <coughs> hey, Bree. There's Daddy. <laughs> hey, Bree. It's okay, Bree, Bree. It's okay. Sometime on a video, I'm going to have to explain the, my preference as to how long a hitch rope should be when a horse is tied and it's different for different size animals and this one's definitely way too long but it's fine for what we're doing right now but i'll explain it a little better sometime she's actually doing very well mama won't be gone long Bray. mama's not gonna be gone long colors down here too. Let's go back and see how mama's doing. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Ha. Oh. Oh. Well, lady, you got the first wagon out there, all right? We'll get hitched on this wagon. This is a new wagon I just bought, new to me. It's really nice because it's a 20-footer. It's got a steel bottom, so nothing has to be replaced. Got good tires all around. This is actually a uh, lumber buyer of ours that's been buying hay for quite a few years now that just buys second cutting and they <laughs> bought the wagon just for this purpose. So I convinced them to actually sell me the wagon. They can still use it to haul their hay home, but uh, it gives me use of the wagon the rest of the year, which is great. So we'll hitch onto this, take this down and then come back and then we'll put Lady away. Jim said she's a lumber buyer, but she's a lumber and hay buyer, but mostly a hay buyer. Did I say ho? Oh. Yes. You said a lumber buyer. I guess I said that partially because very interesting story. She came today and dropped this wagon off and actually picked up some lumber for a fence. And turns out, <laughs> turns out she bought some wood for her fence back in 1994. <laughs> Just a couple years after we got here. Oh. And uh, I had an old circle sawmill at the time. And we sawed a bunch of boards out for her for, for the, for the, barnyard fence and that's finally getting bad so she's replacing it and so she's getting some more lumber i believe that's 28 Have 29 it. years kept up. Kept up. Oh. that's pretty good oh. back up back up yeah oh bah. 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 Oh. So I'll run this one down to the field to get it out of our yard, and I'll be right back. Okay, while he heads off to drop that off down at the end of the field, I'll show you how our garden's doing. Over the last little bit, of course, you guys know we've got, got some rain. Not like our... Vermont family, thank God they're all okay and good, and we're sorry to hear about all the flooding everywhere. We wish everybody the best, but anyways, the corn has grown a lot. The sunflowers and tomatoes. I've got some flowers coming up soon, and we'll be having some broccoli, and been enjoying some lettuce and other greens. My only problem I've been having is my green beans. This is all weedy right here because I keep waiting for my green beans to come up and they're not coming up. I've planted them over twice. I don't know what my problem is, but here's our cucumbers. They're coming along nicely and cabbage. Girls, you want to say hi? They're my faithful garden buddies. 
sometimes they're good to have around and sometimes they're not. Potatoes are doing great. Erica picked the potato bugs a lot while she was here and really helped us to get ahead of them, but there's still a bunch on here now. But I've also been enjoying lots of delicious potatoes from the garden. You can see here I dug a little bit out. Um, raised bed, doing well. Some nice romaine lettuce. Strawberries are done. Raspberries, I've been enjoying getting a quarter or two every other day, or maybe even more than that. And the flower garden's coming along nice. So there's a little garden tour. Let's catch Jim when he comes back. I came back in and there's Bree just standing there like a good girl. You're a good girl, Bree. Mom will be back shortly. Dad is sort of babysitting. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Here they are. Oh, they look so nice together. Yeah. See. 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 Oh. Ah. Oh. She was good. Yeah, she was good. Look at these horse flies. They're horrible, just dreadful. Yeah. We've had such a year of it with these flies. This one is just awful. Fly spray does not seem to work. Bill handles it pretty well, but Ken is just drives him nuts. That's definitely going to do it for a lady today. She did very well. No problems at all. Kind of like to just do it in short increments and build it up a longer period of time, you know, upwards to two hours at a time eventually. But uh, that's dependent on whether or not I need her. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Lady. Lady, get away. Oh. You got the wild look today, Barry. So now I'm going to pull the halter right off free. And... Take the harness off, lady. And Bree can nurse if she wants. This is good because it actually gets Bree used to the harness because this is something that over time in the next few months, 
she's kind of got used to too. And there'll be a lot of times where she comes in from working um, that she'll actually um, want to nurse and need to nurse and yet the harness is not going to come off. So she has to kind of get in there and get used to the harness. That's why I took the halter off because I don't want her to get stuck on anything in her harness. That'd be a terrible thing. So she has to have nothing on her um, so that she can nurse if she wants to. She really is trying to figure it out. Yeah, she is. <laughs> kind of new, isn't it, old girl? It's kind of like uh, the other week I did uh, some trimming of Lady and she was in the sewing stocks and Bree kind of had to get the hang of uh, even nursing while um, Lady was in the stocks. Under Bree, under. But she'll figure it out. I think. I was going to take her harness out right off fast, but because of the issues she's even actually having, I'm not going to. I'm just going to let her gonna figure it out. There you go. It's out and she almost did it. I could force her head down there, but it's good for her to just figure it out. She's not a complete dummy. At least I don't think so. Are you? Are you a dummy? Huh? Huh? Are you a dummy? Can't you figure it out? Huh? Well, I doubt she's too hungry anyways, really. No. Just comfort more than anything. So she was good while you were in here? Yeah, she calms right down with a little bit of, you know, brushing and yeah. whatever, and, rubbing. And there's, there's a lot of times I will, I mean, there's a lot of different options I have when I'm working lady after they get a little more used to it. I could leave Bree tied right up, which is a good thing. I could also um, just let her loose in like this pen right here. I could put her out in the bigger pen and let her loose. I could actually um, put her in the barnyard with Duke and Earl and uh, just to have that comfort of the other horses. So there's just a lot of different ways to do it and how exactly which way I do it kind of just depends. Uh, because you have in the last week you've put their, uh, Duke and Earl and Lady and Bria have been together. And yep. Did yeah. you say that's gone really well? Yeah, yeah, they're doing fine. So I guess she's not too hungry. I'm going to pull the harness off. See if she figures it out right away. Or wants to. And you got a whole pasture you can go eat out there. Why don't you do it? Oh, she is going right to sucking. Yeah. On the other side. Oh, there's even a big fly in here. Usually they don't come inside that much, thankfully. These horses have just been begging to come in the barn the last few weeks. It's just been so buggy outside. It's uh it's nice that we have a spot for them to get it's out of the barks. Why Baron is doing that. Yes, right now down at the end of the barn. I bet Duke and Earl are in here. Let's see. Yup. Hey boys. How do you like having lady around? I love it. So now that I changed my harness and lady has Ken's old harness. Now I have to put on this harness onto Ken and get it adjusted for him so that I'm ready to work him and I'll probably even go out and do a little bit of work even today. But that's a, let's go do it for today's video. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.